I'm Liz from MilkTube. And I'm Campbell. And today we're going to be asking Campbell to show us how to draw some of his characters from his book, Hometime. So in our previous video we had a little look at um, some little cute characters called Peaches. We did. And you draw them heaps and heaps and heaps of times in this book. So can you go through maybe some of the ways that you that you draw them? So if kids at home want to draw some of the peaches the way you draw them. Maybe. Yeah, for sure. So the peaches are these like living, well, living fruit, mm -hmm. really. Fruit people. Literally growing on trees, popping out and walking around and doing things. So the peaches come in the story. They're about this big. Kind of small but they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and that's one of the really fun things about drawing not just fantastical characters like peaches but but people and um any any sort of characters you're putting in your stories they should have a big range of shapes yes right so when you're teaching comics in your comics classes you tell kids a lot about how important the different silhouettes are for the characters and then they yeah. all have to be very different so that it's easy yep. for the makes it easy for the reader like me to know who's doing what yeah, yeah. so there's okay. great examples um, and you can think of heaps in comics like Calvin and Hobbes oh. um, Asterix and yeah, Obelix yeah, yeah. Um, you know Tintin and Captain Haddock their silhouettes their outlines are really easily identifiable mm -hmm. Spongebob Squarepants and oh, Patrick yes, yes, yes. you know their outlines immediately you can tell who they are and also just in real life when you look around your classroom when you look around your family everyone's got a different shape a different size and um, you know your work should kind of be exciting like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So um, I try to break down my characters into really, really simple shapes. Yeah. And um, we're gonna have a little draw. Along. Okay. So I um, I basically try to do, I or I think of my characters as being made up of two shapes. So circles. I did circles as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And sausages. Or a bean, is that a bean as well? A bean, yeah. Okay. And when I say circles, mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about perfectly round mm -hmm. circles. I'm also talking about like kind of pear shapes, mm -hmm. oval shapes, kind of peach shapes even. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, your circle can be any sort of any sort of rounded form. And then when I'm talking about sausages, I'm talking about you know, these can be quite noodly. Mm. <laughs> they can be very noodly. And I use these two shapes to I combine them. So if I've got this circle here, yeah. I might decide that that's going to be the head of the character. Mm. And uh, I might then add a body. Oh, good. I like to have big heads with little bodies. Big heads with little bodies. Yeah. And then when I'm talking about sausages, I'll be adding them like this. So, so this is the starting point. Very, very simple. If I'm going to use this one, I might use that as a head. Yeah. And I might add another bean shape. And then some sausages here. So this is, you could just do this for ages, couldn't you? This is just a lot of fun. It's pretty relaxing. <laughs> it, it is, it is pretty relaxing. I feel like I want to do some little headbands or something while we just wait for that stuff. So well, circle sausages. Circles you? and sausages. Should and I put some on all of these? Yeah, okay. I'd go, I'd go through uh, and just... I might do like a little... And play around with the proportions. Have some that are huge heads, tiny bodies, huge bodies, tiny heads. Um, play around. I think like we did with the uh, gum nut activity mm. where you practice or well, what does it look like if that bits the head and that mm. bits the body mm. and vice versa. Yeah. So once we've done a few of those, we can maybe pick one that we really like and turn okay. it into a character. All right. Yeah. So which one would you like to do? 
Of yours or mine? Of yours. I might, I might go with this guy. He looks. I'm not sure what's happening there, so let's see. Sure. Well, I might pick this one then. Okay. Because they, they're, oh, they're quite I like different, where you put right? Those, I like where you put the little arms. There, there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, should we grab another sheet of paper each? Oh, all right. And let's transfer it across. So we're going to develop these. Yeah, we're going oh, to develop okay. this, this character. So, grab yourself one. So we're drawing quite big today. This is very un unusual for me. <laughs> and for me as well. Isn't we usually no. don't draw this no, big. You draw whiteboards like that big. Oh, right? that's I, true. I, I'm not used to this. All right. Um, now you can probably see Liz and I are both drawing quite sketchily. I'm oh. holding my pencil quite high up. Because right now, I'm not really interested in getting the details fine. I'm just interested in getting the, the rough shapes. And I'm drawing kind of as gently as I can, which mm. makes it easier to rub out I later didn't do on. Mine big enough. Didn't you do this big? You... It's just the same size. It's the same size. You got to do it bigger oh, so really? that people can see it. Oh. <laughs> right. I feel like this big head. Cool. Okay, and then it's got like a little a guitar pick. A guitar pick. Body, yeah. It's good to think of um, kind of shapes you're familiar with that you can reference when you're thinking of things. So you heard me before talking about pear shapes, teardrop shapes, guitar pick shapes. So now we've got this. Mm. Now we can start thinking about um, refining those shapes. some faces okay some faces so um one thing i like to do when i when i quickly start drawing a face is draw like the center line of the face and imagine where that is now with your peaches you can be really playful with with how big the eyes are how far apart they are because they're not you know they're not people they're not uh restricted to like a, like a formal set of mm -hmm. of rules you might have seen rules of how to draw a human face you don't have to worry about that with the peaches um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add mine, and again, what's really one really nice thing to do is to use some of these circle shapes in the face. Okay. So you might have eyes that are actually oh, this okay. shape. Okay. Repeating shapes within a character design can be can be a really nice tactic. Oh, so I'm gonna use my body pick. shape. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. In That's the good. eyes, and then then you can draw the iris and the pupil and my character's going to be a little bit a little bit worried mine looks worried too oh maybe both our characters are a bit worried maybe they're off on a big worrisome adventure okay now peaches they don't have a nose like us they've just got two nostrils a bit like a reptile does just two nostrils on the front oh. yeah that's it. Sometimes I draw them, sometimes I don't. Because they can look a little bit spooky. And then you can have a little mouth. So I'm not sure what your character's mouth might be. Oh, this looks very worried. He looks like he's got a little, little upside down mouth oh, there. Oh, he might. Oh, goodness. Might want to add a little chin, if you want. Oh, okay. Yours might not have a chin like okay. that, though. Okay. Now I think we're starting to get a bit of a sense of our characters. Now, the fun part is... Mm. What? Adding all the clothing. Yes. And, and the kind of design of them. Mm -hmm. So that's really quite playful. Mm -hmm. um, I like to, to think about what's in the garden. What's in... Like, in nature when mm -hmm. we go for walks. What sort of leaves, branches, ropes, twine, twigs, we found nice, things. We went on a nice walk today and we saw that little, at King's Park. Mm. And we saw that little, our friend, our beautiful friend Bryony, she was looking at the plants and we saw one that kind of looked like this from memory. And she said that would make a cute little hat. So again, you might want to repeat some of the shapes that are in and the curves and the lines that are in 
in your character design in their clothing. That could be really nice too. So I've got a whole bunch of leaves that are then tied together at the top. Um, can you help me make him not look so worried? Yeah, for sure. I think I'd like him to be a bit more joyful. I'm okay. not sure if the eyes are a bit... So those eyes, that sort of a line is going to be a really worrying line. Mm. So you could have, still have that, that musical pick style. Mm. But maybe bigger. And then another We haven't truth. used erases. No. Yeah. So we just try and um, draw really gently and build up. Um, we often don't have too much eraser use in our classes because what can mm. happen is you spend the whole class rubbing out lines yeah, and, and not really getting anywhere. So And what we're doing right now is exploring. So instead of instead of making a perfect drawing right now, what we're doing is exploring drawing. And so um, you want to be keep moving forward rather than forward mm. and then backwards and then forward and then backwards heaps and um, that can be quite disheartening. So we're just moving forward, forward, forward. So is your character looking a little bit Yeah, that's better. A little bit cuter now? Um, another nice trick is to bring the character's eyes a little bit inward. So rather than having, if you think of the two eyes, oh, rather than having them right. right in the middle, yes, yes, yes. If you or bring both them, of the pupils on one thing, if you bring them slightly like that, slightly in together, yeah, okay. um, what it looks like is the character's kind of looking at you mm -hmm. rather than off into the distance. Mm -hmm. That can look a little bit stunned, mm. shell shocked. Mm -hmm. okay. This one looks like they've got an intention That's and a fair. focus. So we're kind of at that stage where we're adding a little bit more detail and we're kind of refining the way the characters look, which is nice. So we've done our hats. Is your, is your character going to have anything, any clothes on? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Where can we get ideas for clothing? Ideas for clothing. So I like to think about what potentially I might be able to fashion out of things I find right. in the bush if I was um, smaller and uh, needed to create my own clothes. So uh, I think of leaves. I think of great leaf shapes that I've seen in nature mm. and mm. that I really like. And uh, try to imagine how you might combine them into cloaks, capes, skirts, dresses. So do you do um, observational drawings of these things separately to all of this? It tends to be, yeah. 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 So and I have sort of a catalogue of leaves in my mind okay. that I can then reference. But if you go out into the garden and you, um, even if you just take one leaf off every plant in your garden or yes. I'll go for a walk, and you collect all those leaves up, you're going to have such an amazing selection and collection of them. So I'm going to give my character a bit of a, a bit of like a shrug, a bit of a capelet. Oh, a capelet. Yeah, yeah. So that might be okay. mine. Can I put a capelet on mine? Yeah, of course. I'm going to think about individual leaves. And then it's going, this character's going to have sort of a clasp for the capelet mm -hmm. and that's going to be in the middle and then that'll kind of connect and stitch all of these bits together. So I want to think about how they get stitched together. Hmm, not sure about what the, what the arms are doing. We can move those arms as well, can't you? Mm, I might Put just them somewhere take different. Like coming down here. Oh, you know what I like? I like the little arms that come up over the face, you know? Like, uh, okay. Like we make little arms that come. Yep. So just remember that sort of sausage like shape. That? Yep. Okay. So That's then I'll great. just tuck them. You're kind of imagining that the um, that they're little bendy pipe cleaners or sausages, right? Yeah. And when I talk about sausages, I mean to mean the ones before they get cooked <laughs> so when they if you've ever helped your folks cook sausages and you get them out of the packet and they're they're kind of squishy and, and floppy um that's how i imagine the arms of, of these characters to be like and so as you get more certain you're pressing harder with the pencil right that's right yeah so you might do two three four lines and then decide actually yep yeah, that feels mm. that feels about right and it can take time and if you make a mistake it doesn't matter 
It really doesn't no, matter. No, no, no. Don't. This isn't. This is all about just having a play. Yeah. So I'm going to put a little pattern on this character's brooch. And I kind of imagine these brooches would be made of maybe clay or something. Stone that they've carved. There you go. And, then when you and also what um, is fun about the peaches is they find a lot of the things from our world that we lose, right? Mm, like yep. like socks and hair ties. Hair ties. And yep. what else do they have in their little collection? Bottle caps. They love oh, bottle, bottle caps. Cap. Coins. Coins. Yeah, so those sorts of things are pretty treasured when they when they are found. So some of the peaches in the background will have um, they'll be wearing like human socks. Uh, they're one of the most prized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should put. Prized okay, maybe I should have put little. Would the socks be too big for them? They could be wearing a baby sock. I love to wear baby not? socks. So here we go, and then. In between their legs, they have a big flower. Always? Always. Oh! <laughs> so a flower and some leaves. I and didn't know that. Yes! Yeah. And they're not boys or girls, are they? No, because right. they're, they're, they're fruit. So if you go to the um, supermarket, there isn't a section of boy apples and girl apples and <laughs> yeah. boy watermelons yeah. and girl watermelons. Um, so because they're fruit, um, in nature, fruit have uh, fruit you know come from come from flowers so uh these guys still have their flowers attached Cute. so on the top of their heads actually if you draw them without hats they, they have a they have a stem they have a little stem They've got a little right. stem that's um so if you if you draw one without a hat it's got to have a little stem at the top so can i put leaves here or oh, sometimes they have little skirts and stuff sometimes they, they wear skirts yeah i wonder if i could put a little skirt or um, what about like a little, some kind of little, um, a bum bag? They could like definitely a, have a bum bag. A little pump up the jam bum. I'm wearing my bum bag today, so maybe that's why <laughs> I should probably. And then shoes if you want, go for it. And what I often find, and you'll find this, I suspect, is if I'm drawing a crowd of peaches, or I need to draw, you know, a group of them, the first one I design is usually pretty boring. And then the second one's a little bit more interesting. And sometimes I have to draw crowds of 10, 20 peaches. Mm. And by the time I get to kind of the 10th peach, they start getting really weird and interesting. <laughs> um, because you have to you have to push yourself out of what you, you're comfortable drawing and get really creative. Yeah. So when you're designing, don't just design oh. one version of it. Design two, three, 10, 20, 40. Mm. Because you start getting better ideas, you start uh, getting more creative mm. uh, and really pushing your imagination. Uh, so we've got a couple of really cute little character designs yeah, here. That <laughs> and was so much fun. Yeah, it's, it's really fun to do. So, um, so you can have some fun at home. We've made these simple worksheets that you can print off. Uh, and it's got a whole range of different peach bodies already drawn on there. And then you can go in and add the faces. You can add, um, you know, all of the clothing and everything that you'd like to put on there and have a go yourself. So um, hopefully you have fun with that. Send us any examples. Yeah, if you do any. We'd do. love to see yeah. them. Cool. And um, we're going to... That's all right. We're going to keep great. designing some more, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And um, see you next time. For, see you next um, time. another little stay-at-home time activity. Cool. Bye. Bye.